we have the the hydro dam, the one in uh, Nile, uh, but it produces a lot of power, but that power we use only 20% of it. So what causes the loss of which is around 80%. Uh, so that is uh, the innovation that I wanted to start with, because in uh, electricity generation, we are good. Elec electricity consumption, we are good, but there is a bridge in between there. When they are producing power, they, they do it during day and uh, at a given time. But the people who are using power, they use it 24-7. Uh, so that is the innovation that I came in with, that I needed to build up something that can store the power for someone to use even if uh, the Owen Falls Dam is switched off, then you can still use your power. So I came up with uh, energy storage system and I started studying how best can we utilize the materials we have from within the country uh, so that we can build uh, energy storage system. I started with uh, some things that are commonly known to us. These are rice husks, these are coffee husks and when you look at them someone will tell you ah, these are just waste. But this waste is a source of uh, carbon material, and the carbon material is the material that is needed on the one part of the battery. We call it the anode part of the battery. So if it is needed, said, okay, let me start with that. I purified all this and uh, tried to do some functionalization up to this kind of material. Now this is uh, uh, material, carbon material for uh, anode side. So after that, um, I later on discovered that within the country we have um, graphite mines that were recently discovered. That was 2022 from Chitigu. So I went on to also get some samples and um, tried to work on them so that they reach battery grade. This is uh, the site. And uh, this is the same processed one. This is the level of the battery material. Then after that, I started testing them for its uh, output. Uh, you know when you're doing batteries, there is a lot of science. Uh, you do one side alone until you reach the end. You do the positive side alone, you reach the end, the middle side. Because mainly the battery has three parts. The positive, the negative, and the middle part, which is the separator. Uh, in research, no one is doing all the three at once. So, but me, since I was the only one in the country and I was the one starting, I had to touch here and there and uh, do all the three. But later on, specialize on the two, which are the major. That is the positive and the anode, which contributes up to 75% of the battery. So I have quite a number of materials here for the cathode side. I've tried to look at um, uh, the lecatwe salt to get out the lithium that is there, which is very small, the, the sodium that is there in the sodium battery technology. Then later on I found out that uh, we have mines for lithium and now I'm trying to earmark those active sites for lithium. How best can we mine these materials and we utilize them to build our own uh, batteries. Then from that, uh, since uh, the battery was far reached, I had to start with uh, the phone batteries uh, because all the batteries that we have in the country are fully imported. So I started with them. These are still uh, demos because of machinery uh, issues. So I have different um, uh, output. This, if it is fully conditioned, it can go up to 5,000 milliamps, and uh, that will be one of the best on the market because currently we have 4,000 milliamps as for Samsung and those other phones. These are LFP uh, batteries which are rechargeable. They are used uh, in different gadgets, and um, this is uh, the technology where to go. Because as you're seeing it here, a single cell, we call it a cell because it is one. We put it into a pack. Once you put it into a pack, you can run uh, electric vehicle. 
like the Kira EV, this is the battery they are looking for and they are all uh, imported. And when you look at the cost of uh, maybe the Kira bus, the Tuan bus, the cost of production, around 60% of the cost of the production goes to the battery pack. So if we can produce this within the country, which we have tried to do now, then the electric buses will go down, maybe to 30%, maybe 20% because they will be locally produced. So this is the science we are trying to uh, work on as our innovation. It is still new because uh, everyone now is looking at Tesla as the main big man into energy storage. So they have tried to get all the lithium ores from different mines, but they have not taken the one we have in the country. So let's uh, add value on these ores and we produce our own products. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, we have Chira EV, okay? But this uh, assembly here, this piece here, a, a unit, can't run uh, such a big unit. We need to cascade them. It is 3.5 and yet the battery could be requiring to do the lighting, to start the engine, could be requiring, say, 48 voltages. Eh? Since this one is just three, we have to cascade them. Cascading, um, um, we put them in a, we, a certain configuration. Uh, for us to add up the voltages, we put them in series so that the voltages add. Eh? Uh, application, we can uh, use them in uh, motorbikes. Remember, we are trying to move away from fossil fuels to renewable energy. And as I mentioned, these are renewable sources, biomass. Eh? If we can come up, as you have already come up with some of the what? The prototypes. Eh? If we are able to assemble them, we should be able to go to run, for example, motorbikes.